Hey, sorry I didn't read yesterday. It, uh, I was preparing for the first day of school. It was hectic. Okay. Skewdaloo is slightly flame retardant by don't want to know. <sighs> you better get rid for a ride. Skewdaloo is slightly flame retardant. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Rarity worried. Please, doctor, tell me they're all right. Applejack and Rainbow Dash stood beside her, awaiting the news as well. <laughs> Miss Rarity and Miss Applejack, there is no need to worry. Your sisters have suffered a few first-degree burns, but nothing serious. They should be healed up within a week. The doctor was happy to inform them. What? What about scoots? Rainbow Dash bit her lip. Oddly, besides a few charred feathers, Scootaloo shows no signs of injury. You should be very proud of her. If he hadn't pulled Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle out of that fire, things could have been much worse, the doctor told her. Can we see them? Applejack asked, still fretting a bit. Yes, they're in room 502 right down the hall, and to the left. The doctor pointed a hoof. The doctor? Trust me, I'm the doctor. Inside the room, the three mares found their young counterparts. Strangely, they were in high spirits. Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle we were lying bandaged up, sharing a hospital bed, and sorry, starbursts. Um, sharing a hospital bed, and Scootaloo was hopping about on the floor, buzzing her little wings. Scootaloo got her cutie mark. The two younger sisters shouted as the orange Pegasus leapt about gleefully, an ear-to-ear -ear grin on her face. Any admonishments of the trio mares had for the little ones were forgotten when they saw how happy the fillies were. Let's see it, Scoots, Raymond Dash said excitedly. Look, the little Pegasus hopped over to them and show, showed off the glistening new mark on her flank. It was a tiny image of a flame with an X over it. The mares were confused. Aw, that's uh, wonderful, Scootaloo dear, Rarity said, trying to be tactful. But may I ask, what does it mean? She glanced over at Applejack and Dash, but they seemed as confounded as she. I think it means I'm fireproof. Scootaloo said. The joy and awe in her voice was palpable. I don't know, Scoots, Rainbow pondered. You are a little burned, so you can't be fireproof. I don't think any pony can be fireproof. Huh. Scootaloo's excitement decreased a little as she reconsidered her new mark. Well, then maybe it means I'm a good firefighter. She perked right back, back up. Uh, Scootaloo, not to rain on your parade, but you're the one who started the fire in the first place. Apple Bloom interjected. Scootaloo's cutie marks crusaders towards jugglers idea hadn't gone very well. Well, darn it. The little Pegasus was starting to get irritated. What does it mean, then? What's my special talent? Rarity and Applejack and Rainbow Dash exchanged blank expressions. Hey, why don't we go, go ask Twilight? Dash finally picked up. She knows everything. I'll bet you she can tell. Yeah, Skulu said with renewed excitement. Let's go! Just a minute, came the familiar voice as Skulu rapped impatiently on the do library door. When it opened, a sleepy looking Twilight greeted them, still in her pajamas. Did you just get up, hon? Applejack inquired. Yeah, I was up all night reshelving books. Then I decided I didn't like the way I reshelved them, so I had to re reshelve them and. Oh my, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, what are those bandages for? Are you two all right? The doc says they'll be fine, Rainbow Dash said. Thanks to Scoots here. Rainbow patted her number one fan on the head and tussled her mane. Skittaloo saved us, even if she did start the fire in the first place, Apple Bloom explained. Another crusader caper gone awry, I'm afraid. Applejack shot a reproachful glance at her sister. I see. So what brings you all here, then? Twilight wondered. Do you know what a picture of a flame with an X over it means? Rarity said. Of, Oh, yeah, of course, Twilight laughed. In fact, she turned the waistband of her pajamas inside out, and on it was a tag with a symbol identical to Scootaloo's cutie mark. It's used on fabrics and the like. It means flame retardant. Flame what now? Applejack puzzled. Flame retardant. It means it won't burn as easily. You don't want your PJs going up in flames. 
I'm fireproof! Scootaloo shouted with exhilaration. That is so awesome! Wait, what? Now it was Twilight's turn to be confused. She stared quizzically at the orange filly until she saw the mark on her flank. Oh, wow! Scootaloo, you're a cutie mark! Congrats, she said, with a what-the-fuck style expression on her face. Now I can be a torch juggler or a fire breather or something cool like that, and I'll never get burned! Scootaloo felt like she had superpowers. Um, hold on a minute there, Scootaloo. Twilight raised a hoof gingerly. Scootaloo stopped bouncing. Fireproof, fireproof and flame retardant are two very different things. Huh? Well, how different? Well... Something that's fireproof won't burn, burn at all. Something that's flame retardant will still burn, just not as easily as most things. Well, could I still swallow fire? The filly asked hopefully. I wouldn't recommend it. Could I walk through fire? Um, maybe? You'd have to do it really quickly, though. Well, what can I do? Scootaloo demanded. I think this calls for an experiment. Dramatic pause. Okay. See now, if I hold my hoof over the candle for more than a second or two, I... Ow! I get burned! Twilight demonstrated. Now you try. Twilight thrust her hoof into the flame con confidently, only to recoil a few seconds later when it started to burn. Huh. Five seconds. Well, that's three more seconds than most ponies. Twilight made an attempt at convincing a smile, and failed miserably. So what's my special talent? Well, Scootaloo, it appears you are a slightly flame retardant. <sighs> like your pajamas? Yeah, maybe. Maybe not quite as much, but yeah. Twilight trailed off. Scootaloo looked around at her friends, all of whom were doing their best to look happy for her, and sucking at it. Nervous grins plastered on their faces. She slumped back onto her haunches and sighed. She looked at her ridiculous cutie mark. God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck? That's it! <laughs> I think it's only funny when you read the whole thing, because at first I was like, why? Ooh! I'm looking at my Starburst wrapper and there's writing on the inside. Hold on. I have to read it now. Urgh. I bought Starburst because it's the first day of school, so my mammy gave me monies for a Starburst. Is Connect Sports. Starburst thinks you should be able to play virtual sports for very real prizes from Connect for Xbox 360. One, go to game my summer. Come on. Come on your smartphone. Oh, no. Go to GameMySummer.com on your smartphone to download your free mobile game from Connect Sports and Starburst. <laughs> Come on your phone. That was weird. Play Starburst Sports and other cool games for a fun chance to win 1,000s of prizes from Connect or Xbox 360. Enter the code below in the mobile game for a chance to win. No spot smartphone? Enter the code the code at GameMySummer.com F4AHKMYWMU Well, I'm too lazy to do that, so you can totally do it. Ugh. I guess that was a funny story. So, I'm gonna eat a Starburst while I talk now, because I'm gonna edit the video so I can ramble as much as I want. I'm gonna talk about the first day of school. It was very interesting. Oh, it was way more many people. Oh, I was like, what? There's so many people. All my teachers are really cool. Except for my English teacher. She's like, you have to be in your desk by the late bell. And also, no lates. No late homework. Like, even if it's in your locker, you can't go to your locker and get it. You just... Just no. It, just no credit. Even if you did, like, the entire essay. And she won't accept it like before. Yeah. And I got a bit of homework. I don't know. Oh! Um... If you're still listening, um, in two weeks, I'm gonna be playing at the Giants game. With my tuba. That's gonna be pretty cool. So maybe you'll get to see me on TV. Because I'm going to be playing tuba. At a Giants game in two weeks. 
Yeah. But I might not be on TV. I don't know. I'm gonna read the next door now. Cause yeah.